G'day guys, I'm Marco from Auger Talk, and today we're going to show you how to correctly fit some hose and couplers to one of our Earth Drill 5500 Maxes. When you receive your auger drive, it will come in a box such as this, and I'm going to show you what it contains and what to hook up. So, now once you take the lid off, always check the top because usually there's one of the hoses inside the box. You've got to pull them out, and we'll use them later. Okay, as well as in the box, you'll find your auger pin, our adapters, these are some half inch flat face couplers. In the box, you've got your auger drive and you've got your warranty card over here. So what we'll do for the interim, we're just going to put that out the way. I'm going to show you how to hook up these hoses and couplers to this auger drive. Okay, we're going to grab a set of pliers and we're going to take out these plugs. When you remove these, just make sure the little black seal on the plug remains with the plug and doesn't stick to the port of the auger drive. It's very important. Once we've taken off our plugs, we're going to go to our hoses. We're going to pull off our adapters. We're going to take the adapter off the swivel end. The swivel end will go into the motor and the fix end, we're going to put our couplers on too in a sec. As I said before, these have a three quarter inch port. So with our adapter, we need to make sure we get our dowdy washer on the port side of the motor. So we're going to screw that one in there. Now we recommend these get torqued up to 56 newton meters of torque. If you haven't got a torque wrench handy, screw it in, finger tight, until it's firm. One tap, it should be right. Once we've got our adapters in the motor ports nice and tight, we're going to grab and fit our hoses. So as I said earlier, we've got a swivel end and a fixed end. We're going to put the swivel end to the hydraulic motor and we're going to do the bottom port first to help access to the top port. Just till it's finger tight, and we're going to grab a 27 mil spanner. Give it one turn till it's tight, and the same as before, hold it tight, give it a tap, and it's fine. These hoses have a taper fit. There's no seal, there's no dowdy washer. They will seat on the taper. Again, don't over tighten. So both the hoses will have half inch male threads on them. We're going to get our couplers, as I mentioned earlier, in this case, we're going to use some half inch flat face couplers. Most machines, five ton and below, will be equipped with these factory. Now it's one male, one female. Just check on your machine which side the male is on and the female and ensure that the port side is matching up to that. So from here, we're just going to go and screw them on. Simple as that, just finger tight. Now we're just going to nip them up with some spanners. We've got a 32 mil for the coupler side. And I've got a 27 mil for the hose side. Okay, we're going to tighten it and then just one more crank. And then same with the other one. This auger drive is now hosed up and got its couplers on and can be affixed to the hitch or the frame that's being attached to and then connected to the host machine and you can start drilling. 